Huh, got another one of those things. Uh-oh. More scorpions to deal with. No problem at all, though. Let's go ahead and waste them. Yeah, there we are. What do you think about that? <laughs> you got nothing on... Ah! The hell is that thing? Oh, God. I don't think so, you ugly mother. Ugh. This is Scorpius. And this guy... Well, as you can tell... Oh, shit. Every now and then he'll swipe his claws at you. And try to chew on you. What you need to do is you see his legs made out of the onyx. What the hell? The guy did like a four-hit combo on me. Yeah, his legs are made out of onyx, so you need to get out the Nemean Cestus and start pounding away at his legs here. Don't worry about the little scorpion spawns. Ow, oh, god damn. Unless your health starts getting low, in which case mine is. So I might want to focus on some of the smaller scorpions to get my health back up. I don't think so. Stop that noise. <laughs> now this fight, it's not really hard. What the hell? He keeps just doing this over and over again. I said stop it! How many times do you have to teach you that lesson? Okay, just keep pounding away. When he does that slam attack, you can go ahead and unleash with a magic attack of your own. That way you can avoid the damage. Okay, come on. Stop lifting your leg in the air. And just avoid being in front of him. Oh, shit. I don't remember this being such a pain in the ass. Let's see. Wait, why won't it break that leg? Come on. Break it already! Like, maybe focus on one of the other legs first. Alright. You know what? You're getting in my face. Don't like that. Okay, I need to go ahead and kill off a few of these scorpions like this. That way I can get my health back up. Ah, shit. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch this side now. There we go. Okay, after you destroy enough of his legs, he'll get down like this, which is your cue to get up and start punching the living fuck out of his ugly grill here. And then you can circle grab him after you do enough damage. Uh, give me that tooth! <laughs> oh, man! Ripped it out, nerve endings and all. Ow! Yeah, watch out for his tail when he does that, too. Now, this next phase of the fight... He'll, uh, just disappear off of one side of the box, and then reappear on another side. But what I recommend doing is when he pops up like that, grab one of the scorpions and finish him with circle. Ah, oh, man. Stop it! That way you can avoid the damage from that magic attack. Okay, just keep pounding away at his legs here. Oh, shit. Yeah, usually the, this fight isn't too hard as long as you remember that you can get health from these scorpions and that you're invulnerable when you do the circle grab to kill them. Yeah, you see right there, even though I got blasted across the box here, I still avoided damage because I was grabbing onto one and was invulnerable. Okay, go ahead and break that leg. Just mirrors that leg not taking any damage. Okay, let's go ahead and plug away at that one then. 
All right. He's going to disappear again. This is the cue for the scorpions to come back up. Die! There we go. He's avoiding that damage. The hell? Why is that leg not being damaged? Alright. Just unleash with that. Maybe I need to destroy the other leg. I notice he has one more leg there that I haven't destroyed. Maybe it's like a graphical glitch. Okay, let's get moving. I don't think so. Yeah, I'll go ahead and attack this leg then. There we go. Yeah, it must be a glitch. What the fuck? Yeah, let's go ahead and pound away at his face until you can grab him a circle again. Oh god! Okay, now this part, just avoid the icicles that he's going to be launching at you. Which is pretty easy to do. Oh yeah! Alright, go ahead and reel that tail in. And there we go, we have defeated the Scorpion! To finish out the fight, let's go ahead and break him. Just like so. Yeah, that was a weird fight, I've never seen the leg glitch out like that before. Huh. But if we break what's left of his stinger, check this out. Ooh, what is that? This is the Boreas Ice Storm. This gem contains the icy breath of the North Wind. You have found the Boreas Ice Storm. It is the key to unlocking the labyrinth. That it is, because if we come up to these devices that we came across earlier, using R1, we can activate them. Okay, with that done, let's go ahead and ride this vent up that we created. And we'll come up this way onto this clamp. Now before we activate that one, let's go ahead and come up here. So you notice that we've got an area here with some gold dust. And it contains another big chest for us that has red orbs in it. Now let's go ahead and use this lock. first time I played through here, you see this rope right here? I thought that's what I had to jump on, and I ended up jumping for it and fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, you have to come over this way and uh, use this grapple point, but that's what's misleading about that part, is you see that, and you think that's the way you need to go, is up that rope. Okay, just make sure you come across here very carefully. I don't know why he decides to swing across these last two. Maybe he's having too much fun. Woo! Look at me go! Okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay, once over here. You see we've got another device there on the wall that we can activate using the Boreas Ice Storm. But of course, instant we do that, we got baddies to fight. Who did not see that coming? Oh, God, yeah, there we go. Thought I was fucking fried there for a second. Now, one of the ways you can take care of these guys is wait for that Gorgon to start attacking, or using a Gorgon Stare, 
and he can just freeze all the enemies in the area. There we go. And just break as many of them as you possibly can there. Especially these guys with the shields. So fucking annoying. Okay, what? that was weird. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, Gorgon. Do that attack again. I had no idea Gorgon popped up there. Which is why I almost died there. There we go. That's how we take care of baddies in my neighborhood. Okay. Punch the living fuck out of you. Okay, now let's go ahead and take care of Mr. Big Minotaur guy here. Just a regular Minotaur, so he should go down pretty easy. Open wide, buddy! <laughs> Fucking taint sucker. Alright. And the path forward has now opened for us. At least it's not another one of those things where we had to make sure the enemies don't attack the chain in the center. Because that would be bullshit if we had to do that again. Okay, just go ahead and swing across here. Once we make our way back up this way, hey, check it out where we are. That's why I said to make sure if you don't need the green orbs not to grab that chest, just in case you're a little bit low after that fight. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and save the game, since that was a really glitchy fight with that scorpion. <laughs> I had no idea what that was all about. But I am not surprised at this game. Alright, so what else awaits us down here in the caverns? We'll have to find out in the next video. Stay tuned for more. God of War 3.